Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here. Treasury and the Fed were fighting last night. Bonds rocketed, big gap, full point uh, on the ZB, which is uh, fairly unusual. Um, we're going to be selling these up here at this line here, 174, uh, 25, 28 area. We like um, we like this gap to be refilled, maybe today, uh, but in the coming days. So this is interesting for us. Gold, wow. I mean, printed 50, bang, but then just dicked around and fucked and shredded all the shorts, right? Printed 50, bang. 62, 54. 66, 59. Now she looks like she's heading north. Same strategy as yesterday. We're looking both sides here, right? So above 1900 or below 1850. Um, you got to play. So just be patient. Pre trading this has been deadly. Um, so just wait, right? See what it looks like. Below 1850, you're short. Below 1900, you're long. Say it again. Say it strong. Euro looks like we're going to take a little bit of an attack north today um, through 90 at the uh, London Open. And then let's get ready for a move to 119.20. We'll have to see. Vol's been pretty crimped. Um, past few days, a lot of small little shitty bars. But it is Friday, and weird stuff is happening. You never, I don't think I've ever seen the Fed and the Treasury fight like this. But of course, we've never had a Treasury sector, secretary like Munchen, who is a you know complete income poop. Um, We'll have to, so we'll have to see. But we like Euro higher. We collected. Um, look at that! I didn't even see that ninety the high already. Um, we're gonna test this ninety level at the European Open, I think. Um, we collected some euros overnight, and uh, we'll just see how this looks. Try and add through ninety and um, get a core long today. Cable, same idea. We're going to test this 133.13 today, so uh, Brexit or no Brexit or, or whatever uh, this looks like. This looks like what we're going to do. This is the same type of level as 119.20. I guess we should draw this line for those of you who haven't been paying attention. This is 2011. Many of you probably weren't even born. Here's your line. 10 year trend line comes in at 119.46 today. We'll call it 119.50. Keep your eye on this. This is, uh, this is important for the long term health of either the dollar or the euro. So if you like Euro lower, which a lot of people do, we're not one of them, um, you want to sell in front of this line or sell at this line. If you like Euro higher, you wait for this to get through this line to confirm that it's change in trend, change in a 10-year downtrend. One day I'll do a video of all of these moves. I remember them all. My, my. Anyway, um, keep an eye on this. This looks like it's in play. Dollar Swiss does not look bid. You can probably sell this. If this wasn't Dollar Swiss, we'd be selling through 88. Uh, but it is Dollar Swiss, so we're not going to bother with that. Dollar Yen also looks bearish. We had a chance yesterday to go north, but she just didn't want to. Did not want to. Um, 
also looks left, although we're not playing in the Dalian space. Cross Yen is confused. EM. This probably goes lower. And I wonder if we're just back onto this theme that um, Biden is dollar negative. One of their strategies, whoever the new Treasury Secretary is going to be, is to devalue the dollar. Um, this is great for emerging markets, uh, great for the global economy, but not great for America. Although, you know, you can find it, almost half the economists who would argue that it is good for America. So, you know, it's, it's one of these sort of controversial uh, remedies is a, the lower dollar good for America or is it bad for America I'm on the it's bad for America side but that doesn't matter we're just here to trade and make money not make policy is 7340 going to come into play today I think there's every reason it might right uh, if stocks get up through 3585 and we have this dollar sell off type of a day Aussie could also print 40 Euro Aussie, we have not been playing. Nobody cares. Aussie yen, we were short yesterday. I wouldn't be short today. But it's not really in play, so don't bother paying too much attention to it. And Kiwi, on the retail side, this is the most shorted object. Um, since retail most always is wrong. Sorry about that, since most of you listening to this are probably retail. Um, this makes for an interesting sort of point, 69.40. Been to 33 today. It's going to be risk above that. That's 69.45 from the 18th. What are these over here? 69.38, 69.41, 69.69. Gotta wonder if there's some stops above 45. We're gonna be watching the Aussie more than the Kiwi. We've got sort of the same trade on. Um, long Euro. Um, but this Kiwi level looks interesting, 69.45. Might be a squeeze if we get, get through that. And dollar CAD, uh, don't care. Not really a lot going on. Uh, oil's back at 42 bucks. Uh, dollar cat just sitting there. Gold we talked about. Let's take a look at where Bitcoin is. Bitcoin 18 still. We still think you should be taking a little bit of money off the table here. Um, it's tradable money, right? So you just run and sell 18s and you want to try and buy those back around 13 or so. Uh, don't take everything off the table, but take something just to help your averages. This isn't going to go in a straight line forever. Um, so, but damn, looks pretty robust. There will be an extension higher if we get through 18.5, which not out of the question, not out of the question. But that being that said, that being that what it is, be that what it may, whatever that term is, um, we want to lighten up here, say between 18 and uh, 19. Really, 17 and 19. You don't have to, you don't have to ping the highs. Um, like uh, my mentors used to always tell me, we play in the. We don't play in the last 20 percent of the move or the first 20 percent. We play in the middle, uh, when the direction is clear. So if you do ping the high, great. Uh, but you don't want to try and make a living pinging highs, because you won't be in the business that long. Anyway, I'm shutting up now. It's Friday. Let's make some money today. It's been a slow week. Um, wait for your levels, plan your trades, and then make some dough. All right, people. Good luck out there. Ciao.